guys welcome to another video for the redmi k20 pro the mi 90 pro also known as rafael or rafael in now this is a rom a lot of k20 pro users have been telling me to try since a long time so i figured let's go ahead and install it let's use it for a day and let's see what the hype is all about in today's video we're going to look at the initial impressions with benchmarks for cherish os on the k20 pro but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Cherish OS version 2.9 official based on Android 11 for the Redmi K20 Pro. The changelog says CTS now passes by default, so that's good for banking applications. Fixed adaptive charging, new high brightness mode, synced color modes with Coral from Android 11. For flashing this, remember Android 10 firmware is needed. Always make a NAND backup and be safe based on OSS vendor and Soviet star kernel. Now that name there, Soviet star kernel, the moment you hear that, you know that this is going to be a good performer because even on Android 12 ports, Soviet star has been performing pretty, pretty decent. But before we get into the benchmarks and stuff, I'm going to share with you my battery life experiences, my fast charging experiences, how smooth the UI is on a device which has a 60 hertz display. And we will also talk about the special features of Cherish OS. Now, let's start with the home screen first. So it says, I love my family, Cherish OS. So that's like, you know, really, really good. Anything that brings positivity to your life, even if it is a custom ROM on a phone, I really, really appreciate that. It does look a pretty colorful on the home screen, very minimalistic, and it boots with very, very few applications. It comes with a very, very basic camera application, so you don't really have your Gcam stuff going on, but you can always install, this is the K20 Pro, so yeah. ANX camera can be installed, but as you can see, the pop-up camera is working absolutely fine. You do have your assistant shortcuts over here, which works as a charm. You have the search bar at the bottom, weather at the top, and to the left, you have Google Feed. Now, just have a look at the smoothness. The moment you see such smoothness on any custom ROM on the K20 Pro, you know that the developer is doing a great job. And that is something I really, really appreciate. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will have your quick tiles and you have your auto brightness over here, your settings shortcut and your data usage over here. If you go to edit, you will have a ton of other customizations. For the Mi 90 Pro, you have NFC and then for headphones, you have headphones buddy. You do have FPS info, which will be really useful for me while doing a gaming review. You have your reading mode, LTE, caffeine, peak notifications. Again, useful in gaming mode. Ambient display can be enabled, disabled through the quick tiles. You have smart pixels. You have the compass quick tile, something really, really neat. You have a power menu, you have anti-flicker, you have sleep mode. So Cherish OS does indeed come with a lot of customizations. At the same time, if you see over here, you do have screen recording. So you have internal and external audio. You have show touches on screen, show stop dot, long press to move it, lower quality for small files and say let's record device audio and microphone and let's start the screen recording here okay now let's look for any stutters if we have nope i don't see any sluggishness although it does feel a little jittery like it's not lagging but it's jittering a little bit the moment you stop the recording Yeah, it was very ever so slightly and let's have a look at this recording here. Any stutters if we have? Nope. Ah. Right. So as you can see over here, the internal and external audio recording is working absolutely fine and you do have a ton of other features as well. And this does this ROM does not boot with a lot of applications. Now let's quickly go to settings over here to have a look at the details of this ROM. And the moment you boot into settings, you will see that they are organized in a little different way. You do have different looking icons. So, you know, that differentiates a ROM every time you do something like that. You do have your multiple users, the search settings option. If you go to about and you 
have a look at this this is organized in a very very neat way so that's that looks great as well moving on if you click on the android version you do see this is the 5th of august security patch so although this is the latest share issue update it doesn't have september security patch i believe in the next update they will add it and as far as the kernel is concerned as i said earlier this is the soviet star kernel now in my experience the touch responsiveness is pretty good but sometimes just sometimes i had multi-touch issues and the volume slider you have to tap here that's when it comes completely out but the animations are pretty good look at it over here also the FOD over here pretty neat works great as you can see yeah so pretty neat additions pretty neat volume related bars over here works really really great and let's go ahead and maybe lock the screen here you have your always on display fingerprint works like a charm now let's look at cherish exclusive settings real quick before we move to battery and charging and later we will have a look at the benchmark numbers so if you go to settings you have something called as cherish settings over here now look at the way the customization menu is arranged now to me that says a lot you can give all the customization that is there in the world but if you're not organize it in a presentable way it doesn't really look like a phone os it looks like something not so complete if you will so you have status bar customization over here and you do have a ton of options now remember because these custom roms are getting options more and more with each passing day it doesn't really make any sense for me to go through each and every option but if you want to have a look and have a question about any of these settings pause the video and ask about that in the you know comment section over here or on our telegram community apart from status bar you do have your quick settings customization as you can see over here my god that's a lot of customization lot of customization moving on you have themes oh you have monet wannabe as well so i'm not tried that let's maybe go to styles and wallpapers and say let's look at this well it's trying it's not as perfect as android 12 but it's trying so you have your font customization wow just look at the customization in themes i mean there could be a five to seven minute video alone about this customization menu. So go ahead and check it out. Moving on, you have button customization and then you have animations which you can customize. Screen off animation, you do have CRT animation over here. Something pretty, pretty neat. Moving on, you do have lock screen customization, a ton of option. Wow. Right. I'll tell you this. In, in a long time, you know, I have seen a ROM which has these many customization options and I'm really, really impressed. Because remember, adding customizations is one thing, but despite having so many customizations, not having lag, not having major bugs is a big deal. And that is what is going on over here, right? Now, you do have your power menu customization as well, power menu animation. So say let's wake this baby up. Oh, pretty neat. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of difference. Notifications, you do have a ton of customization here as well. And then you have miscellaneous. You can select the screenshot type, suspend actions, wake lock blocker. Wow. I'll tell you this, Cherish OS is one of the most comprehensive custom ROMs in terms of customizations. I can definitely see that. Now let's talk about the battery section over here. But before we do that, we missed out on one important aspect. So let's go to miscellaneous and gaming mode. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, right? Click on partial screenshot signature spoofing. Wow. So it has some sort of gaming mode, right? I've not really explored it. There you go. Enable gaming mode, dynamic mode, disable automatic brightness. So yeah, this is also pretty much similar like uh, Siberia OS. Neat, neat stuff there. So gaming mode is also there. Let's, let's actually go to battery here. And let's see, the screen usage has been three hours and five minutes. It does so the current battery capacity. This is a device which is more than one and a half year old so yeah of course it is degraded i really hope these values are correct right and then you have thermal profiles now under thermal profiles you have these options of gaming and benchmark which i've of course set 
and as you can see over here 19 hours back it was completely charged and we've had three hours of screen on time and we still have 20 to 30 percent battery left so that's something pretty pretty neat let's go ahead and look at the fps info tile there you go so the fps info tile is working now i'll tell you this in the initial impressions itself i'm mighty impressed with this rom because it comes with the right kernel it has a ton of customizations and it makes me want to use this as a daily driver i really really am interested in using this as a daily driver now the charging has been pretty decent it is somewhat there as far as custom roms are concerned so you won't really have a problem with fast charging let's talk about the benchmark numbers let's look at the cpu throttle test first CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance and the average score was 185 to 65 GIPS. Pretty much in line with what you would expect from a Snapdragon 855 powered custom ROM. Pretty, pretty decent CPU throttle test there. Now let's go to Geekbench over here to have a look at the multi-core and single core numbers. 738 single core 2514 multi-core not the best result but remember this is not low this is the upper high end of results and it's pretty pretty good now moving on let's talk about antutu benchmark over here 534303 again say about 10% low not even 10% 5 to 7% low compared to the usual scores that this device scores but all in all, Cherish OS is a very surprise addition and I would recommend you guys to give it a try because it's giving me decent battery life, it is giving me decent charging speeds and the gaming experience, you will come to know about that in the gaming review that is coming for this particular ROM. Let me know in the comment section, are you excited about Cherish OS and should I do a complete review or not? Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.